kind of out by the Lake Michigan shoreline, and uh, it's a property that's owned by the Southwest Michigan Land Conservancy. It's one of the phenomenal properties that they protect, and they have a, uh, well, this is actually the 10th annual, um, they call it the, art, the Plein Air Art Walk, and uh, what, what we do is um, we have uh, probably about 15 artists today will be uh, painting on the trails, and, and uh, there's a little pond there. They'll probably be painting around the pond, and, and they'll get started sometime around 11.30 or so, and I think at, from noon to three, the public come out, and they actually walk the trails, talk to the artists, view them painting. And then there's a barn there where each artist is encouraged to bring uh, bring five paintings and and hang there and hopefully we sell some. That'd be really cool. So the goal for today is the same as always. Paint something great. Well, let's check this out. Ice cream, that works. Oh man, fork, which way do I go? Um, I tend to lean to the right on, uh, on wise, but I think today I'm gonna go left. So let's check it out. So I could easily paint that way. I could easily paint that way. This is really beautiful back this way with those pines. Um, but I found this uh, water here with kind of these little, I don't know if they're willows or what these little bushes are, kind of around it. They've got some nice color in them right now. and. Uh, I like this direction a lot, and I like this direction a lot, um, but I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go for something in here just because there's more interest in the background. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna set up here and we'll get this thing rolling. I've added a couple of. Uh, I've modified my pal a little bit today, so I was gonna tell you a little about that. Um, uh, I've got the uh, uh, CAD violet, um, whoops, cobalt violet, sorry about that, uh, down here. As you know, mine's a little thick, so I have to mix a little medium with it um, when I use it. Not sure why that is, but uh, then I'm using uh, Hansa yellow. I've got sap green on here, um, uh, cadmium orange, alizarin crimson, and then this uh, from Holbin, um, this is called uh, Horizon Blue. I've been experimenting with uh, Horizon Blue at home, and uh, I actually like it very much. So I'm going to give that a try today. And then uh, we have uh, Ultramarine Violet. And then I've also got um, Thallo Green uh, Yellow Shade. Um, again, I've been experimenting with this uh, in the studio. And in my last painting, I was having a trouble. Um, there were some darks that I was after that I just couldn't seem to get. But man, thallow green yellow shade and alizarin crimson together just gets a really rich dark. So, so I'm giving that a try, and then I'm just I'm trying out some of the M Graham um, titanium white, uh, which just pouring it out of the tube, squeezing it out of the tube. But I'm actually really happy with it's just really creamy. So I'm kind of uh, anxious to see how that goes. So all right, I'll get a sketch going and. Uh, and we'll get some get some paint moving here. Okay, so today I think I'm gonna um, talk you, kind of just talk you through what I'm thinking as it relates to the start of this painting, um, and uh, kind of what my plan is going forward is 
Um, I've gotten a number of comments where people actually like to hear me talk about what's in my head, which shocks me actually, but um, that's okay. I, uh, I totally understand. And I'm getting to a point now where I think I'm able to do multiple things at once while I'm painting. So I didn't always feel that way. I felt like I needed to concentrate and it was, I found myself when I thought I was actually talking while painting, I was just mumbling and mostly being quiet. So, but now I actually feel like I can share with you kind of what I'm up to. So, um, this, uh, I'm going to start with, uh, just kind of getting a few of these darks in here. So I'm going to take some, uh, alizarin crimson and a little bit of this, uh, uh, fallow green, uh, yellow shade and, uh, I'm just going to kind of lay in these and maybe just a touch of ultramarine blue. Um, but I just want to lay in these these pines uh, that are right here, kind of in this area. And just big shapes, uh, not too, uh, I can always cut back into those, uh, just lost and found edges and all that without any trouble. So. Um, and I kind of like, I kind of like my brush to just kind of mimic the direction the tree's growing. So I'll just kind of move it in that in that way, and uh, kind of get these uh, these three guys are this is just a little bit taller maybe. This might need to be in here a little more. This is just mostly a shape here. And that does come down quite a bit, so. So that area is like actually one of the darkest things I can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that in like that. <clears throat> Man, that just makes such a rich dark. I can't believe it. Um, I love it. And then uh, this. Uh, kind of field of grass uh, in front of it. it just has a bit of a uh, kind of these native uh, natural grasses to this area um, they have sort of like an orange orangish uh, red to them maybe a touch of a uh, touch of blue in there since these are uh, back there pretty far um, it's just basically a line, a line of those. It just kind of runs right across in front of these trees. Uh, so I'm just going to indicate them for now. And kind of get that laid in here. Just kind of go off into the distance there. And then they're fronted by some, uh, some darker greens. Uh, Just kind of lay right down in here, kind of at the base of them. And those are contrasted pretty good by by this uh, bluish green, light colored grass. Um, so I'm going to take uh, a little bit of my uh, sap green. And I'm going to add some of this this new uh, Horizon Blue uh, in there. I just have, just have to learn these names. Um, and now that I've got that mixed up, it might be a little bit hot um, at the moment, but I'm just going to go with it for now. And I do that a lot. It's a lot of back and forth for me. So, uh, but it's it's a fairly warm fairly warm green, but just for the moment, I'm just going to kind of lay some of that in here. No real problem. And 
then this uh, tree kind of in the foreground here is, is uh, this little bush anyway. It's sort of a yellow green, so I'm going to actually mix uh, some sap green and orange to start with. Uh, some cat orange, a little sap green, maybe a touch of, uh, touch of ultramarine uh, violet in there. And just because I want to warm this particular bush up quite a bit, that's... I'll just touch a little Hansa yellow maybe in there and add that in here. Uh, you can see, uh, this is the reason I, I tend to paint on a uh, sort of a mid-tone background, because then I can, I can lay in these highlights and darks, and it, it just works for me. It just allows me to see the difference between the two a lot quicker in the painting. Um, so, um, so I'm just going to go in with just the basic shape of this particular tree here and just sort of a washy mix. And again, I'm just sort of moving my brush in the direction, you know, that this tree, this tree grows here. So, and it just sort of tapers off the back there. And it comes up here to a point and I'm trying to avoid you know this region right here it's the center of the canvas so uh, and there's some really nice dark greens that are living uh, living down kind of down inside down at the base of this so I'm just gonna put some of those in here just for just a touch of modeling just helps me uh, as I move around here um, just to have a little bit of a, a little bit of modeling to this, um, and then some of those same colors. They're just some some bushes that kind of come off of it here, and some of them actually kind of go up over that. They're just right, kind of right along the edge of the water, um, just right in there. And there's actually some embankment there, so I'll take some cat orange and and white, <clears throat> and then to uh, I'll warm that up a little bit. I don't know if you saw what I did there. Uh, it, cat orange and white in the beginning. Um, I just want a sandy color, so I took uh, cat orange and white. Man, it's crazy. Sometimes I just do it, and I can't. It's hard to actually talk about it. Um, so I started out with uh, just just cat orange and white. I touched a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of blue, and then I actually touched the uh, uh, um, the sap green, and that uh, that kind of brought it brought it to what I was looking for. So just just for the moment, just sort of some sand along that bank. Can't really see it ve very often, but I'm just going to put it in there. And I'm just going to kind of make some of this dark here and probably throw this in here. Just defining the edge, that's all. No big deal. This, In the foreground here, this grass uh, is actually quite yellow. Um, where it's just kind of clumped and living along this edge. So, and right here. There and then there's some, uh, some some parts of that have some green to it as well. So especially where I'm standing, it's, qu it's quite green. So just lay that in there. All right. And then this next uh, this next bush is sort of a yellow orange. So um, I'm going to take just some Hansa and some Cad yellow and. Uh, this pr probably won't be the the final color, um, but I'm going to kind of go beyond where I think I'm going to end up, at least to start with. Um, because really, my uh, my center of interest in this painting, I mean, it actually lays right in here. So the uh, the, the edge of these, and it's going to be in this region right here. So. So this color 
eventually maybe too uh, maybe too hot for this, but I'm just gonna throw it in here anyway. It's just kind of these these willows. At least that's what I think they are. But they're definitely standing in front of this, so I want to make sure that they continue to do that. But in actuality, what's going to happen there is I'm going to end up going with some uh, some kind of red and blue and and uh, yellow to get more of a more of a deep green that's going to fall down in here and really kind of separate these guys. Uh, so, and then it kind of rolls up over top of here a little. This bush in particular, which if I could show you, just just real quick, the uh, top of it, from what I see here, is is really just kind of a blue, a very bluish uh, green. So. Uh, So it's actually very much like this is what I'm seeing. So, so if I, I'll just lay that in and that'll kind of help. That's going to help set these two apart as well. And that kind of blue-green just kind of flows right along the top here. All right. And then this tree... Uh, that's kind of in behind here is a little bit a little warmer than this uh, but it's also quite dark uh, right down in here so which is really nice because it's going to give me a really good uh, uh, dark against light area right in there and I'm just gonna these trees that are sitting in behind here are just basically going to go right off the right off the canvas so uh, in this case, not a canvas, a panel, but anyway, you get the idea. So that's in there, and then uh, it stays a little bit warm out on the edge out here. And I'm just going to let that come right over top of these uh, trees, and then it it ends up kind of resting down in here, but just maybe. A... And then there's a little bit of that in here. Again, I have to think about. I want to keep this uh, this dark against light that's going on here, so I actually need to uh, need to make sure that stays. So a little more lizard and crimson, uh, and I'll actually mix a little yellow with that. It'll give me a kind of a grayish color because I ended up with a bit of a purple, purple color there. So these will just be in here. It's kind of some shapes, no big deal. I'm not. The sky is going to be in here. These trees are back there, and uh, probably there's another tree that's right back in here that sort of goes off the off the canvas. So just looking for a gray back here. So and I want to blue that down a bit. Uh, and, and there's some bluish uh, bluish greens back in here as well. So. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> Alright, so for the water to begin with, I'm going to go back to uh, kind of what I had going with the uh, with the greens. Lizard and crimson. Dallow green, yellow shade. Um, these are, uh, you know, these are actually uh, visible kind of in the water right in this area so
I'm just gonna lay some in here, just just some shape, nothing major. And these are going this way, not that way. Can't see all of that um, in the water at the moment, but I'm gonna just put it in there. And uh, whoa, that got crazy. And that got even more crazy. Some of these new colors are a bit of a challenge for me so far. Okay, let's go back to this. There we go. And we just got some in here. Actually can't see any of that because there's gonna be something over top of the the water there. But anyway, uh, all right, so I think I'm pretty close to, we got some of this in here, just kind of runs along this edge here. Alright, so this will leave these uh, areas um, where I've actually got kind of the light is coming through here. I'm going to get those in there next and just I'm gonna lay some of this in here. Now we're going to mix uh, a little bit of ultramarine. I'm going to take some of this new uh, color I'm using and bring that in, touch titanium white. Um, and just for the moment, uh, I'm just going to lay some of this in here. There's uh, some in here and here. Just a little bit of blue poking through in some areas. Um, and it also just sort of is washing on top of the top of the water. All right. So now you're thinking to yourself, uh, man, Dennis, what a mess. Um, but this is pretty much how I start everything. Normally you just see it all happen a little faster. Um, but Everything's an adjustment along the way, so I don't really get too excited about, you know, this is a little chalky and this is, might be a little chalky, and but I'll I'll deal with that um, in a bit. So now um, I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take some of this Horizon Blue um, and add uh, titanium white to it, and I'm just going to oh hey I'm missing Indian Yellow. One second.
Okay, that's better. Um, I'm just gonna just touch this. All I want is just a, the tiniest amount of that. And it, it just warms that up. Um, just enough. Let me go back in with just a touch more of the blue. Um, can tell you that uh, even with the limited use so far this uh, this titanium white is awesome so and I'm okay that this is almost white at this point because um, I have a tendency sometimes where my I don't get my sky light enough so at least if I start this light and work from there I have a tendency to be a lot more successful, so uh, no problem. Now I'm just adding a touch of ultramarine uh, into that when I get up here and this sky may may change and develop and how I feel about it will probably change and develop as a, as we move along here so um, again all I'm thinking is value some local color uh, big shapes and at this point we've got to start so I will uh, continue on here, and uh, I think this one uh, this one's got a chance. All right, cool.
this has gone pretty good so far. Um, so I've got the uh, the majority of it uh, completed now. I'm just going to really kind of hone in on my uh, on my area of focus and see if I can't beef that up. There's a lot of edge uh, stuff I need to do kind of around the water, and um, but in general, this this is where I'm at right now. Um, and what I have to do is uh, is I have to get this. Um, this is a little darker underneath, uh, kind of where this layer lays on top. So I need to get some of that worked in. And then I'll have some, uh, some reeds coming out of here um, that I'll have to deal with. And then I just started a little bit of uh, surface, um, some kind of defining this edge a little bit over here. And then I'll work on this foreground a little bit, kind of where this grass lays in there. And then I'll just be taking a general look all the way around and um, just kind of honing it and getting it better this I think this value can be a little lighter back here against this tree line so um, I'll uh, kind of get to the finish here and uh, we'll see how this turns out So there were a lot of people stopped by from, well, when you paint in public, you get, well, the public. And uh, that's, uh, I always enjoy having people uh, stop by when I'm painting and uh, chat and talk about what I'm doing and and a little bit about what I'm struggling with, which I'm having a little bit of problem with the uh, stuff that's on the surface of the water, but I think I might have it sorted out now. But anyway, that was really cool. Um, really nice, uh, really nice lady there who's uh, living in a nursing home and um, was talking about she wants to continue to paint and stuff. It was just so inspiring to uh, to chat with her. And uh, it looked like uh, she had her daughter with her. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna see if I can just do a few more things and kind of wrap this one up. It's really just a few detail things. And uh, we'll uh, uh, finish it up and head back to the barn. So I'm all finished up here and uh, as always thanks for checking out my video um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and share it with somebody if you like it and I will catch you later.